big things come in small packages. This is not farther from the truth when it comes to this bad boy. This is the Waveshare RP2040 Zero, that is the smaller cousin of the more known Raspberry Pi Pico. And just like the Pico, the Waveshare RP2040 Zero has, well, the RP2040 microcontroller. It has 29 pin multifunction GPIO pins to allow you to use it with a multitude of electronic projects. It has a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor, 264 kilobytes of SRAM, and 2 megabytes of flash memory, as well as it's supporting MicroPython, C, and C. As you can see, this little thing is loaded with goodies that make it ideal for many projects, but today we'll only be talking about one. <laughs> Straight to the point. So I'm going to assume that you've already gone to Amazon, purchased the two items, which is the adapter and the wave share. Uh, if you have them in your possession, go ahead and plug them into each other and hold the reset button on the wave share as you plug it into one of your available USB ports. If you do not, it will fail to show up. Now that it's in, that it shows up, you can go ahead and navigate to the link below that, uh, that points to my repository at GitHub. Click on the Pico Ducky. And I'm not going to go into a lot of stuff where, you know, like go ahead and uh, extract files and take specific files and put them in specific folders and so on and so forth, which can be time consuming. I've gone ahead and did all that for you. All you have to do is two steps, drag and drop, and you're good to go. So right click on the link, open it in a new tab, just in case you need to come back to this one, which actually you do because you need the zip file. Type wave share, and the first one's going to, to be the RP2040. Click on that. And you're going to have the download.uf2 uh, file. Navigate to the downloads, and all you have to do is drag it and drop it into the root of your circuit python. All right, or into your wave share, which is going to show up as circuit python later. So once you go ahead and drag it and drop it into the root, it's going to disconnect and then reconnect, showing as circuit python. Now, once we've done that, see over here, the instructions are super simple, drag and drop. It's going to disconnect and reconnect. And then once you do that, you know, you're going to navigate to the zip file where it has all the folders that you're also going to need and drag and drop. Click that, view raw, and it's going to automatically download for you. Navigate to the downloads folder and extract all. You can extract it anywhere you want to. Uh, for me, I'm just going to have it in the downloads folder. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and open it. Inside that is a dump file I use for temporary files. Highlight everything, copy it, and then navigate to the root of your circuit python. If there's anything you don't want, which, I mean, I suggest removing everything. Remove it, and then paste. And that's it. So as it's doing that, I just want to say the, the payload.dd file is the one that has the payload that runs once you plug it in. I already have it uh, preloaded with the Rickroll just so you can prank a friend, so you can have fun with it, and just something to get you started on the right foot. Uh, it's super simple, nothing complicated or crazy. You know, just get your feet wet and then take it from there. There you go. As soon as you plug it in, it automatically opens up a tab and it Rickrolls. Then I'm going to give you a... All right, so now over here, uh, we're going to go back to the root. We're going to open the payload file, and the first one is going to open the run window, a delay of half a second. Then the next is going to type Chrome. Then it's going to hit Enter. Then it's going to wait half a second, and then it's going to type the link wherever you want it to go. Wait a quarter of a second and hit Enter. All right, and that's going to play the video that you decided to Rank your friends with a delay of nine seconds and then the alt f4 is going to close that tab once it's completed or you can make it wait 10 seconds 15 seconds whatever you want to do you can manipulate uh, that as much as you want to and that's all there is to it now if you want to play with it a little bit more you can always go to the hack5 website uh, where they have a bunch of payloads different types of payloads a lot of cool nifty stuff so you can go ahead and do that um, and also if you have any specific requests that you'd like me to uh, to share with you any specific payloads feel free to drop me a comment and i'll make sure to include that in the next video hope you enjoyed everything hope you found this fun useful 
and easy, and I will catch you next time.